to thank Mr Webb today for coming out to unveil it for us. I'd also like to give a special thanks to um, Jody um, and Nicole, our contacts at the, at the council. They have been very um, helpful in helping us organise the plaque and having um, everything done for today, which thank you, I hope. But upon looking upon old newspaper articles, from what I can work out, Durai Hall was all, generally, it was a hall before that, just not officially. They used to clean out all the park for us. And I know that you've got a team behind you that's helping you, but I know that you started this off. And uh, in, in preserving our, our history and our heritage, this is so important what is happening here today. And for the next generations, I think uh, you'll be remembered. But for you and your team, congratulations. So a special thank you from, from myself and, and a special thank you from the council because... I, um, I, I don't know a lot about the hall, only what Billy Jane has told me and a little bit that I've researched. And I, uh, I know that uh, George Fielder owned the hall and built it back in 1914. And of course it was used as a bag shed and that, he did that because of some weather damaged wheat that he had in uh, closer to town from flooding uh, in years previous to that. Today I thought a little bit about um, a little bit about the history and the past of our, of our whole area and I think and Durai played a very integral part in that. And I thought about what was happening here a hundred years ago and what is happening today. And as I got out of my air-conditioned cab and my tractor and I got into my car which has got an air-conditioned cab and grizzled all the way between the two because how hot it was outside. Left the car in the shed and went into an air-conditioned home and got a nice cold glass of water out of the fridge. I thought about our forefathers and I thought what would have been happening a hundred years ago. And if you think about it, they would have been doing it pretty tough compared to what we do it today. They didn't have air conditioning and in some cases they didn't have motor vehicles, they might have been riding horses. But they certainly didn't have air conditioning in their vehicles or their homes and some of them probably didn't have refrigerators. And the only cold water that they probably would have had was in a water bag on the front of a truck or in a water bag hung, hanging under a tree. So they certainly did it tough. And of course we complain today about the, I guess about the hot weather and the dry weather. But we've become very soft, haven't we? We really have. But look, with the... Uh, to, to deal with things. But uh, what I would say is that we've had three years. I don't think we can have four. I think next year is going to be a great year. So if we, if we pray very hard, next year should be a should be a good crop. I see we've got Jim Homsch here with us today and the history of, uh, I guess, the Gary area, the Winton, the Bithram here, and, and, and around Durai to some degree. And I know that Jim struggled back then when he wrote the book. And uh, we wish Billy was around then to be able to to gather the information and provide him the information he, on, on, on Durai and the Durai Hall here for Jim when he, when he wrote that book. But uh, Jim, you did a wonderful job of putting that uh, that together with uh, the help of Robin Wing and, uh, and Julie Banks, and I, uh, I congratulate you on that. And that's another great record of our history in this region. Uh, so thank you for that, Jim. For those of you that don't know, this this region here, this area here, here in Gowrie, and of course Winton, Bithram here, was, uh, was recognised as probably one of the premier grain growing areas. So when this hall was, was a shed, this would have been probably one of the premier grain growing areas in Australia. Farming, but things have changed. So look, oh, it's a pleasure to be here today and I've, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to unveiling the plaque, which will... Uh... But please, Billy, uh, who, who's done all the work um, to, to get this to where we are today with her, with her group of supporters, Again, I thank you for what you've done. Okay, so we just have to pull it off the Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you ready for us, go for it. Just look out for the crowd. Look at look at the crowd. Great, good on. Okay, um, it's, we'll be moving along now to afternoon tea. We'll be having um, some scones with jam and cream and tea and coffee. Um, it'll be served in the hall, but if you want to come back out here and mingle where it's cooler, it's up to you. So we'll be moving into the afternoon tea part now. Okay. Thank you. Billy. Thank you. Thank you.
They are this. <laughs> One of the older regionals from Jerome. <laughs>